Robots are going to be pervasive in the entire healthcare sectors, everything from diagnosis to treatment to patient care post-operation is going to change. According to researchers at John Hopkins University, medical error today is the third leading cause of death in the United States. So it's really important to enhance surgeons' ability and that's what machine intelligence and robotics is able to deliver today and providing surgeons and doctors with the tools to perform better. Today, surgical robots are primarily used for abdominal surgery. We now have more than 4,500 da Vinci robots around the world that help surgeons perform operations on a daily basis. Last year, more than 800,000 procedures used robotic-assisted surgery. But going forward, we're going to see robots help surgeons in orthopedics. A good example of that is Mazor, that's coming up with a robot that can help surgeons in spine surgery. We're looking at hernia, which is probably the next big market opportunity. We have Oris Robotics that's coming up with a revolutionary approach to detecting and treating lung cancer. Oris is going to use AI to analyze images of the lungs and the robot's going to enter from the mouth and go into your lungs and be able to detect cancer cells. And in the future, we hope that these robots will be able to remove cancerous cells as well. Healthcare robotics is not just about surgery. We are using robots today to help patients recover from severe injuries. Exoskeletons, which are robotic systems that you can wear on your body. We are also seeing new companies coming up with innovative social robots that can be used in elderly care and prevention. Leveraging conversational skills that are powered by AI, these robots can interact with patients at their home and these social robots can detect any fall or an issue with the patient and call for help. In terms of healthcare robotics, the market today is just around $5 billion annually and growing in excess of 20% per annum. And the regulator is paying very close attention, FDA approvals are necessary for most of these devices, and uh, very much like the biotech sector, we're in a situation where we're going to have huge winners and some losers. So from an investor's perspective, we think it's very important to diversify. Thinking 20 years out, I think healthcare as we know it is going to disappear and will be profoundly transformed by robotics, automation and AI.